Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here doing another Let's Play. And this Let's Play will be Stranded 2. And we're going to play Adventure Mode. Uh, just a few things to get out of the way at the very start. Is DC is the developer behind this. His name is DC, or nickname on the internet. Uh, he's the only guy that has created this. He's from Germany, and he's 24, currently studying further into game design and such. Uh, he created Unreal Software, is his name of his company. It's kind of weird it's not here. Maybe if I press credits, we'll see some Unreal Software name. Unreal Soft. 2004 to 2008. Uh, under this brand, he's created Stranded 1, Stranded 2, uh, Counter Strike 2D, and his newest one is Carnage Contest, which is a Worms clone that is free, and it actually looks pretty cool if you see the trailer. Uh, he's also uh, he is in development of doing another patch right now for uh, Counter Strike 2D. And looking on to going into uh, Stranded 3. Yes, it is coming, but there is no timeline on this. So it's uh, just when he has the time and currently he's in school, taking tests and all that. So don't get on top of him and all that by making new forms. And I really like this game. I asked uh, direct permission with him to see if I could put it up and all that. And he was great. Great about it. And... Thought it was a good idea. So let's get into the game. So I'm on a ship. Looks like. I remember it as if it were yesterday. Ooh, I had just walked to New York and I was eager to take my own. So I took it out to see. In my excitement, I didn't really pay attention to where I was going and I got into a storm. The storm drove me off course. All of a sudden, a bolt of lightning struck the waves and caused a fire. The fire spread so quickly I couldn't do anything to stop it, and soon it reached the fuel tanks and it caused an explosion that shattered my boat into a thousand pieces, and it threw me off board, drifting. So this is like a RPG survival building game, just like uh, kind of like Unreal World mixed with Minecraft and all different kinds of stuff. It's more Unreal World in 3D. That's where I look at it. So an island. This is what I call good luck. The sea has washed me ashore practically unharmed. I should take a look around. Info on top of the left, you can see the bars that represent your health, hunger thirst and tiredness. You must keep an eye on hunger, thirst, and tiredness. This may not may not rise too high. If one of these bars is full, you start to lose health. If nothing is left on your health bar, you die. For a, clo for a closer look at a state, press X to look at your character. You can attack with your left button. Use E to gather stuff. And tab for inventory. I changed that, I think because it was a different button. Uh, a part of the provisions that you had aboard has stranded here too. Uh, destroy the crates. You are still feeling dizzy, that is why everything is blurry. But this will go over, or go away over time kind of thing. So we're gonna play it, just like we play uh, Unreal World. And we're gonna play this adventure mode, and once we're done, the adventure mode. We're gonna go on to maybe a random island. So this is your weight. You can only carry 25,000 grams, which I think there's a thousand grams in every pound, so 25 pounds. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Maybe it's 250 pounds. So I'm gonna have to do the math on that. Uh, I just smashed the crab out of a crab, get myself some crab meat. Even though it's probably not called that. Let's see. I got some juice. Got some 
Great. Now we can cut down these trees eventually. We have to survive off the land. Uh, this will be a more of a let's play that's educational and all that and informative because I'll have played it a decent amount. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bash on this and I'm going to back up. Oh, maybe it's right there on the surface. Because you don't want to press E on the water because you'll actually drink the water. And that can be bad. So, for some of the stuff right away, this is our very first island. And then we go to a second island. And then the third, I do not know. So, our hunger and our thirst is starting to go up, plus our tiredness. So, we're going to go over here. So, I need refuge. Uh, it, lo it quite looks like I cannot find a hotel to simply check in. So, I will have to take care of my situation on myself and build a shelter to sleep under. But first, things first. I don't even have the right tools for that. So, items can be combined by pressing tab to get item the two combined with the plus symbol if one of the several combinations blah 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 new window hint in mind you'll also obtain items if you just press obtain items if you just hit for instance trees or stones by holding down zero hmm. I wonder what's that about maybe it's the same as striking Hmm. Zero. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. So those are monkeys. We got snail. There's a couple birds in the air. Uh, there's oh, there's a bird on the ground. We got some butterflies over there. If we go up this way, I think it's hostile over here. So fresh water. Babble, 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 babble. A source of fresh water. Here I can satisfy my thirst. Go up to it and press E. And I think this is the unlimited one, so that's why I came over here. And over there you can see lions. If you get close to these lions, they'll actually attack you. And there's a weird flying bird there also. So, this is where we're going to make our base. So... Uh, strong healing herb, healing herb, healing herb. So that'll be good if we get our ass whooped by the lion. Oh, you guys heard that? Huh? Sound close. Still way over there. Hmm. Got a parrot down there. Maybe we'll just uh, work with uh, marshmallow or marshmallows. <laughs> Mushrooms for now. I think those are poison ones because they look green. Oh, what's happening? Shush, monkeys. Yeah, yeah. And I'll teach you guys how to make a spear later on. We'll kill some monkeys. Starting to pee me off already. Um. Where am I? We'll try to maybe go and get some wool. We'll check this tree over here because it starts growing uh, vegetables and stuff. Oh, while we're here, maybe we'll get some flint. Might take some stones at the same time just for the sake of it. So this is what a water source looks like if it's not infinite. And it fills up with uh, rainwater. So if it doesn't rain, you can like starve out. We're gonna go over here. And I'm gonna get some wool. And with wool, I'm gonna make a net and some other stuff, like a fishing rod. And these funny, smooth, soft balls of wool look suspiciously like cotton. I can surely pluck these things off and use them somehow. By striking upon the plant with your left button, you can gather wool. So I just go up to it and I start smashing the crap out of it. So. That should be enough, I think. 
So what's this? Take in hand, eat, use, and yeah, making cord. So you can just press E for making cord, so I'm just pressing it uh, like as many times as I can. Just clicking on it like a crazy man. I think you could, nope, you can't hold it. I thought you might be able to hold it. When you're up against a tree, you can hold it, and it makes it go a lot easier so you're not clicking up a storm. It's not as huge and open world like uh, uh, Unreal World, but I haven't really seen big islands yet. All I have is played this for a little bit, so we're going to try to play it all the way through the tutorial, and then we'll go on to something else. So... Is there a tree here? Yeah, there is. So we've got some two branches. So if you go like this and go plus, there we go. We got a net. Yeah, this will work. So we got one net now. And. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how to. Uh... So there's a spear. We got one spear, I should have probably made a hammer. So I think I need water or something to make a bendy stick. So we'll make some more spears. Oh, let's make one more hammer. I think you need three yeah. three spears or two spears to take down a lion. After several failures, I have managed to connect a stone with a branch in a way that reminds me of a simple hammer, with a lot of fantasy. With a lot of fantasy. Okay. I would prefer a proper one, of course. Anyway, the thingy should be sufficient to con construct a tent or a wooden shelter. Select the hammer, then right-click, and it will give you a building menu, then you place the item, the building on the world itself. So, let's try just this. Don't be stupid. There, I gotta be on fresh water. Oh, maybe it's fresh water. I thought I could use salt water, maybe. So there's fishing. There's bubbles arising from the water. If you see these bubbles, this is where fishing... So pull out your fishing rod and try. So see that little circle there? There's some every so often, too. Uh, let's try this. Oh, it needs to be fresh water. Huh. So let's try to get to that. Uh, by the end of the video, we're going to get up to this uh, puddle up here. And try building... Oh, I pressed the wrong button thing. I probably could have used the salt water. Okay, so get rid of that. Put this here. Press this. Oh yeah, we can make a boat too. It's brilliant. Oh, and we don't have the bendy thing. Can we make another one? Yes, we can. I'll use this once more. works. A bow. So now we got a bow, hammer, and fishing rod. Okay, so let's get back to the building place and we'll I'll show you how to build a shelter. We'll just lay it down and we'll uh, call it a episode. Self annoying. So these are you going to use as food until we start uh, killing up the storm. I could probably smash that and get it. So here we are. Here we want to go like this. If you go to your items, you can press uh, the number keys to correspond with them, so you can uh, use them easily. So I right clicked, and then you can go under buildings. And we're going to try a shelter. 
I'm gonna spin it around because I think it's like this, and we'll put it up against these rocks. So I have the rocks to I've my set back. Up the building sites. And shelter to the forward into that area. So by using the hammer, I can right click, and anything in my inventory will get placed in it. And see how it said materials, no building materials. So you're done. So this is Chris Donian here playing uh, Stranded 2 for the very first time. Hope you guys are enjoying it, and many more to come. Thanks for the subs. Uh, feel free to give advice because I'm not an expert at this. Uh, see you soon, guys. Bye.